fashion. Um, I'm not a great writer, and so that's my business partner. She writes an amazing blog, um, and plus, I just don't, I feel like I don't have the time, and um, I'm a much better speaker, and so um, I thought it was really um, of value to get this video out. Um, hang on, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm sure just like all my other videos, it's pretty real life. There's no like fancy cinematography or um, anything crazy like that. I'm going to cut the music for a second. Um, so I wanted to invite you and the entire YouTube world um, into the inner workings of power and to kind of let you know what we're doing um, and what I'm super passionate about, which is um, women's health and wellness and especially body image. Um, and I used to say self-esteem. And um, over the last six months, I have just been enthralled with Dr. Kristen Neff's research on self-compassion. And I think that that's the direction that we need to go. And so if you've been paying attention to Facebook um, and my website, you will know that February is Body Beautiful, Love the Skin You're In. And it's, um, this year's theme is self-compassion. And each week we break down, um, Dr. Neff says that there's three parts of self-compassion. Um, self-kindness, common humanity, and mindfulness. And so what the way I have it set up is each week um, we're breaking down each of the three components and we're looking at them and then the Screw This Challenge, little did I know it, when I created the Screw This Challenge, it was really to increase women's self-compassion and I didn't know that. But I knew that whatever it was, was, was probably one of the biggest factors in making my clients um, maintain a sustainable, healthy lifestyle. And so um, if I could get my clients to move from compar comparisons into self-love, then I knew they were going to stick with their exercise. Like that was huge to me. And I figured that out five years ago when I opened up my business was, and that's the number one rule in power, no comparisons. So I needed us to move from not comparing ourselves to other people and then feeling like crap to a pattern of self-love. And self-love does not mean lazy, sit on the couch, accept myself as is. It means that I'm going to enter um, every day with a little bit of grace and forgiveness for where I am. And I'm not going to beat myself up over something that I couldn't do and I wasn't perfect at it. So somewhere on the spectrum between comparisons and self-love is what I call it, is actually self-esteem to self-compassion. And so I had this light bulb moment when I read her research and um, thought, oh my gosh, that's totally what we're doing in power. Now it has a name. And so when we look at the Screw This Challenge, this week's theme was on um, self-kindness. And so self-kindness, I'm going to read off my board, is basically the extending of kindness and understanding to oneself rather than harsh judgment and self-criticism. Self-kindness entails being touched and open to one's suffering while alleviating one's suffering um, involves healing and healing oneself through this kindness. So we talked a lot about self-kindness, which is basically taking captive of your thoughts. Like I posted on my Facebook page, like what was the first thought that went through your mind when you looked at yourself in the mirror when you walked into the gym? You know, did you say, oh my gosh, this muffin top, or oh, these back wings are, damn, like I can't believe, like my thighs are touching, or when did my boobs sink down to my knees? Like all this self-bashing that we do. Um, and so I want, I, I wanted us to kind of begin to become aware of that and we learned a lot about self-kindness. Next week, we're gonna practice self-kindness. So in the Screw This Challenge, like last week, we talked about standards. Who says what is beautiful? This week, we're going without makeup. So like, so it's kind of like the week you learn the principle, then you put it into practice. Then you learn the principle and then you put it into practice. So this week, we're learning about self-kindness. We're learning about um, self-criticism and harsh judgment that we do when we compare. Next week, we're going to put it into practice, and here's how you're going to do it. Whatever you work out in right now, so whether you walk into the studio or your gym or a CrossFit box or whatever it is, if you typically wear um, a long sleeve t-shirt, then your goal is to shed a layer and wear a short sleeve t-shirt. If you wear a short sleeve t-shirt, a tank top. If a flowing tank top, then a form-fitting tank top. If a form-fitting tank top, then a sports bra. Same thing with the bottoms. You can go onto my website to see the exact hierarchy. 
My, I had a lot of clients say, why? I don't understand the point of this. You just want to make us feel like shit about ourselves? Like, what's the point of that? No, that's not the point. The point of the whole, and now I'm talking to my pod girls because you know I'm going to be away. And um, this is really for you because I really want you to get everything out of next week as possible. And basically, it's not to make you feel bad, but when you say, like, you know, one of my sweet, sweet clients said, I don't understand, like, by working out on that, I'm going to look in the mirror and feel, and, and feel ugly and feel bad. No, you're feeling that way because you're comparing yourself. And you're either comparing yourself to somebody else's body next to you, or you're comparing yourself to a past version, maybe before you had kids, or a, a version of you that you think you should look like because mass media tells you to. So somewhere, you're either comparing to another or you're comparing within, but comparison is happening. That's what self-esteem is based on. You feel good about yourself when you compare yourself. We all do it. You walk into a good fitness class, you look to your left, and you're like, damn, I will never look like her. And then you look to your right, and you think, shoo-wee, thank God I don't look like her. You know, comparisons. And so that's how we base our self-worth and self-esteem, on constantly comparing ourselves. That's what happens in the fitness world every day. That's what's happening in gyms every day. This is huge. Like, I don't think we understand what Dr. Neff's research is going to do for the fitness industry. Main gyms are not going to be happy, and it's going to take a long time before this is incorporated. But if we can, you hear my sweet puppies, but if we can move from self-esteem to self-compassion, so that's what we're going to practice next week. So when you shed that layer, you take that shirt off, you wear your sports bra, the minute you begin to self-bash or compare, you're going to stop right there. And that's when we're going to practice kindness. And you're going to practice self-kindness. And you're going to practice grace and forgiveness and acceptance as is. You're going to practice not judging, no harshness, no criticism. That's not to say you can just let yourself go. Again, you need to hear me say this is not an excuse to be lazy. It's just, a, it's a way of um, just cutting yourself some slack completely. I've been posting stuff about Dr. Neff's research. I am not taking credit for it. Um, she is brilliant, I think. And I think that um, as personal trainers in, in the fitness industry, it is our responsibility to help our clients not compare and not base their self-worth off of self-esteem, but instead of self-compassion. Because I guarantee if we do, then we're going to make them successful for the long run. Then there are these habits and working out and eating right, it's going to be sustainable and it's going to be set for a lifetime. And I want that desperately. I have that, but it's taken me 44 years to get there and one hell of a journey. And I so desperately want that for you. So I encourage you as we head into this week of um, take our thoughts captive, we're going to take our thoughts captive by practicing self-kindness, which we learned this week. If you want more information, um, www.powerforme.com. Um, please feel free to email me. I can't always, um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to email you right back because I get a lot of emails. Um, but I will promise I try. I will really, really try. And it's Janine, J-A-N-I-N-E, powerforme at gmail.com. Um, and as always, I think you rock. I hope you think you do too. Power on you guys. Have a great day.